Good day, my name is Chris Swart and I'm a Procon Technical Support Consultant. Today I will show you an overview on how to generate a frame model from an AutoCAD drawing using pads. Let's start by selecting the DWG file you want to import to pads. Do not fit drawing on paper as you want to use the two dimensions scale 1 to 1. This will ensure that the slab is imported to frame on a scale 1 to 1. We want to generate a frame mesh generator file. To do that, we go to Macro, Generate Input File, and we select M, Frame Mesh Generator Input File. You will be asked to enter your average mesh size. Follow the commands in the command line. You are asked to indicate slab area. Hover over the slab and click on the highlighted area. Next, you will be asked to indicate hole area. We don't have any holes in the slab, therefore press Escape without choosing anything. Next, you will be asked to indicate column. If your slab is supported by columns, choose the columns and press escape. But yet again we don't have any. Therefore press escape without choosing anything. And lastly you will be asked to indicate support lines. Select your support lines and press escape. The plate or plane and solid mesh generator model will start up automatically. Here you can modify your model. You can change the slab thickness under the mesh input. You can also enter the loadings applied. Let's apply an imposed load to the slab. Load case 1 in the y direction and a UDL of minus 5 kN per square meter. You can also add line or point loads using the link. Once all the loading is applied, we can go over to settings and model generation. Select the appropriate material and indicate your support options. Here we will be using 30 MPA concrete and we have wall line support. The next step will be to generate the mesh. Once the meshing is done, you can create the model. Toggle full 3D rendering to see a 3D representation of the imported slab. As you can see the 5 kN per square meter loading is automatically applied to the slab. Under general specify that the own weight should be added to load case 1. Under settings make sure that the perform concrete design box is ticked. Analysis and start the analysis. Under output and deflections reinforcement you can see the reinforcement envelope required for the top and bottom of the slab. Thank you for taking time to watch this video. Remember, Procon is an Autodesk Gold Partner Authorized Developer, Training and Certification Center. Please make sure to follow us on social media to get the latest news and updates and visit our website at www.procon.com.